Batgirl 35, Mirkhead Scott, writing with Paul Pelletier on the art. Uh, so Batgirl was kidnapped last issue, or I say kidnapped. She was trapped in a tank oh. by the, uh, the the terrible trio, that, right? That still yeah. falls under kidnapped. Yeah, it was kind of. Yeah, but she wasn't like snatched off the street. She was, you know. Well, no, she got lured into a trap. Uh. Yeah, but then she was locked up in a trap, you know, in, in a tank. That, that's, that's kidnapped. It counts. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. It was kidnapping. Yes, um, I'm, I'm forgetting that some kidnappers will like lay candy on the ground and lead the kid round the corner or something, and then spring a trap on them. I mean, it, you you are describing kidnapping. You are describing here, kid. Take the candy. You're come also into my van and describing get more. a plot point of ET. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, I I don't know if that was meant to be an argument for how this wasn't kidnapping, but you anyways, just described kidnapping. Um, I love that the terrible trio are just basically setting up hostile. Like, oh yeah, like we, we cater to all all fetishes and demands because there's, there's, yeah. there's one panel where it's like call it S and M or someone like a gimp mask and a whip, but it's yep. it's all like in silhouette, so they don't show it too um, much. Because yeah, it, because but then there's like dog fights in one panel and so that, you know, that's like a good room. This is how you tell my personality is. I got far more upset over the dog fights. Than I did of the torture and murder in S and M stuff. <laughs> like I was like, oh no, they need to be taken down now because of the dog fight stuff. Well, because you get excited by the S and M stuff, you're like, oh yeah, now we're talking my language. I mean, <laughs> teach their own. Are you king shaming me? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm shaming nothing, man. If, if you enjoy being you, whipped, sir. then you enjoy being whipped, and you 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 live out your whipping for, life. For the record, I do not. Okay. <laughs> no, he's the whipper, not the whippy. No, <laughs> what he say? Let's know. <laughs> I'll start these rumors. Let's not do that. It's not a rumor if it's true. Show up no, your wife. Not... We'll ask her. <laughs> she'll she'll confirm her tonight. <laughs> um. So, uh, so so a lot of this issue about Batgirls in in the tank, and it's her trying to get out. What else? The terrible trio, uh, or yep. or you know, basically making the sales pitch. And then when Batgirl does kind of get out of her straight jacket. They're like, ah, the tank will never break. She's fine. She tries her, you know, her arm spikes and her gauntlet, and she tries her various, like, grapple guns and whatnot. And it ends up being her uh, safety parachute in her backpack yep. <laughs> that she... Yeah. Which I love that as an idea for a Bat family member, that if you're going to be gallivanting on the rooftops of Gotham, mm. you might as well have a, a, an like emergency a safety parachute. parachute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in case you miss that ledge or the hook doesn't go in, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It does. Uh, like that. So that's that's going on, and then when she does get out, uh, the shark dude uh, takes some venom <laughs> or something. That's what he, I'm gonna he, guess he it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, all muscly, uh, and uh, fight, fights back, girl. So she's she's in a bit a bit spot spot danger. The creepiest part of this is when Shark tells her that she's gonna die with clothes on, which is because they had to, because it's a bat, you know. And I was yeah. like, I got chills on that. That's like, a really dark implication, yeah. It is. Yeah. And, and I think part of it as well is, don't worry, you're not even going to be unmasked because yeah. you know you don't worry about your identity yeah. is part of the implication there as yeah. well as obviously the, the, you know, the just, more overt stuff. Yeah, that's why taken the Taken movies work because these are, you know, William Neeson's out there killing people that are complicit in, in sex trafficking, right? So yeah, like, yeah, the yeah, terrible kill people. Them. You kill them, Neil Neeson. Yeah, so... You know, and here when he says that, you're just like, "Oh my god!" Like, what are these guys exactly into? So, uh, and then there's also a little bit of uh, infighting within the group between Fox and Vulture, which I liked. Yeah, I'm loving that bickering. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. It's like he accuses, he's like, "You get your old bones out of my face." Yeah, you know, and she's like, is "This it, is all your fault." Is it next issue that's the last issue of? I Man, think so. I think so. Yeah. That makes sense because obviously we'll talk about the the other the plot with the the company. Yeah, and where that's going feels like okay, we're leaving it in a fresh place. Yeah, for someone pretty to fresh place over. because basically Alyssa is called in by uh, investors. Uh, yeah, and from from the UK, like they're as the villains. Yeah, yeah, they're basically yeah. villains. Yeah, and they're basically saying, look, if you dump Barbara Gordon, you can still keep your position, and you'll but be here's able the thing. I don't disagree with him because, you know, well, she knows that she's Batgirl, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, but they don't. So they see this, that Barbara Gordon's doing this, you know, less than ethical business decisions, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, we so, we because the the thing they bring up yeah. is that there's something in the books about funding something for poison ivy, and right. we know why she would have done that. We know right. that there's context here, and mm-hmm. Alyssa presumably does as well. Yeah, right. But this is the thing: they threaten but to public. put the company under, which will then take all the employees' jobs away. It won't just yeah. affect Babs; that's, it'll affect that's everyone. That's what's getting other choice. It's not about oh, you know, should I undermine her things as bad girl? Because she knows right. about that. She doesn't care. She, yeah, you know, she's she's on board with that stuff. But they go. Look, if you don't take this deal, we'll just put all this public, and you know, public opinion will drop, and all your right. shares will drop, and everyone will be out of a job. So screw all your employees. Because they said this is not a buy-in; this is a takeover. Yeah. And and so and then at the end, Alyssa's got to decide, like, well, what would what would Babs do? And I fully believe that Babs would be like, yeah, fine, what here? It's it's yeah, yeah. Clean and- uh, I'll manage, you know, without mm-hmm. that, but keep mm-hmm. all the employees their jobs. That, yeah. that that's what she'd do for sure. No. Um, but I like that as, as going forward. Okay, she hasn't got the company anymore. She's got to right. go, you know, back to basics maybe. Yep. Um, it'll be interesting to see that as a, a direction for for the new writer. I, I can't remember who. Oh, it's uh, Tassilucci. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Cecile, Cecile Tassilucci. Tassilucci. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, so, I'm looking and, forward. To and, that. and we kind of know that uh, the trio are, are sticking around because they were. Oh, well, they in the Okay, yeah. cool. Because hmm. they they tease a fourth member that that you know. I am. I really like it when different teams have a, a good handover. Like it feels like no, no, no. We we'll do something and and you've got to run with it. Don't just do a complete fresh start. Don't yeah. just ignore everything. So, you take the challenge almost. Yeah, right? sometimes I'll I'll appreciate a fresh start, but I also would much more like when uh, you know it's kind of like when Morrison seeds these characters like Professor Pig and Flamingo, yeah. right? And then we see other people pick up and, and it's, use them. Um, it's a good argument for why, you know, it'll be issue 37 of Batgirl right. and not a new issue one, right? Right. No, no, this is a continuation. Nothing, writers yeah. change, teams change, but it's still yeah. in the same story. Yeah, and, and I feel like the terrible trio are a great foil for Babs because you, you look at where she's at now, where she's uh, working at a, uh, you know, for a politician, right? She's doing tech stuff for her and, and you have Jason as a barb, right? You know, that was a fun scene, too, where he's looking over all of her stuff that was put out. Yeah, and, and he, he's, he's getting the, the moving company to come and take it to yep. his place to put mm-hmm. it in somewhere, which is, uh, yeah. you know, it's a decent move. Still, there's still stuff I hope that gets that's answered when Castellucci takes over about, like, why exactly he was, you know, remember he stirred up the crowd back at the beginning? Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, you know? That might get answered. It might be one of those dropped yeah. plot lines we never see. But given that we are continuing pretty directly with yeah. the company stuff and the terrible trio, I mean, sure, it's it's not out of the realms of possibility. So, no, I mean, I like the issue well enough. The the, the, the Batgirl stuff getting out of the tank was fun. Uh, the villains mm-hmm. were kind of enjoyable to deal with. Um, yeah, it's basically just uh, on par for what the for the run's been doing. Uh, Pelletier's art still kind of. Yeah, there. I like it a lot more than you do. Yeah. Lot, lot well, once dodgy mouths. I liked when uh, Shark hulked out. Mm-hmm. That that was well handled. I feel like Pelletier does do action very the, very well. The final so. page where like he's sort of in, on fire yeah. behind behind Babs. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that does look good. Um, all right, uh, Matt, what are you giving it? Oh, an eight. Connor. Yeah, eight. No, I'll give it a seven.